that I said most of these just need to be edited down because of wordiness. So what could be taken out to make this thesis statement more clear and more concise? For number three. Mm, someone other than Kamira or Casey. Wait, what? what can be taken out of the thesis statement for number three that makes it more clear and concise? Huh? In trying to survive. Great. You definitely don't need to include in trying to survive. All you need to say is people respond differently to crisis by leaving town or staying in the town. It shows that two opposite reactions to a crisis. Um, and number four. Number four is a little bit tricky because it is very wordy for no reason. Um, can, you, Mike, can you read number four for us, please? How would we rephrase this thesis statement, or how did y'all rephrase this thesis statement to make it less wordy? I'm gonna give more people a chance to think about it because even though this was your do now, I'm still seeing a lot of blank pages. So I'm gonna wait for everyone to try and think about it. Thank you. I'm gonna call on you guys once I have seen more hands up. How would we edit this thesis statement? You're not even looking at your paper, Casey. So I'm not. It, it's okay, and I, I appreciate it, but he knows what he's doing, so I'm going to wait. Can you please turn your packet over, Casey? Thank you. At this point, it's a deduction. What? I don't know why you weren't paying attention to the beginning. All right. Uh, Darion, what were you going to say? What could be, how could we rephrase this thesis statement, or what could be taken out to make it less wordy? Okay, yeah, there does not be, need to be a capital P in people. Nice. Casey Washington. And we could take out the other two as the physical No, that's actually fine. Leaving in, uh, in Philadelphia in 1793, the yellow fever epidemic broke out, causing people to respond to this crisis differently. That's actually a really good way to start off a thesis statement. It's just they start rambling. So, what is a way that we can stop the rambling? Oh, you uh, could take out, hmm? you could take out, uh, <coughs> so that's their second reason. Or that's Wait, oh, and not Great, so you can take out and not trusting anyone while trying to leave Philadelphia. All you have to say is you respond differently to, uh, to crisis by being fearful, because they're talking about fear. They don't need to talk about not trusting anybody. Okay? Um, what part of the doctor's part is too wordy that can be taken out? What part of the doctor's part in that piece of statement? Great. Money to survive uh, for this crisis. Great. All right. So I passed back. Um, for those of you who were here last week and turned in, an essay. I passed back your essays with my revisions on it. Um, once I uh, release y'all to do independent work, those of you who I pass back your essays to, you're going to grab a Chromebook and you're going to make those revisions and I'm going to give you extra points back once you make those revisions and clean up your essays. Um, the rest of you, people who were not here last week and did not turn in an essay, um, you guys are going to read two articles because we do have a mini essay due by uh, the end of next week. So you guys are going to start the, uh, the readings for those uh, for that essay. The readings have, there's two different readings. They have uh, questions in the back. You're getting graded on both readings and the questions. Um, after you're done reading both articles, you're going to break down the prompt in the back of your packet. Does everyone understand what they're doing? So if you do not have an essay with revisions on it, what are you about to do? You're reading two articles and doing what after you read those two articles? Answer questions. 
you're answering the questions about those two articles. Great. After you have turned in those two articles with the questions answered, then what are you going to do? Then you're going to go to the back of your packet and break down the prompt. If you are doing the essay revisions, once you're done with the essay, you're just going to catch up with everybody else, read the articles, break down the prompt if you have time by the end of the class. Capiche? All right. So, um, but before we do that, Can I get someone to read my joke of the day for us, please? Um, Casey, go for it. Why do bees have sticky hair? Huh? Why do bees have sticky hair? Why do bees have sticky hair? Because they have honeycombs. Ah. They have honeycombs. <laughs> That voice level zero is going to work, yet I'm still hearing.
when um, you're done with your revisions, put the paper with your revisions back in your folders. Get 100 points, get the Friday, average, 100 points, two days. Huh? Because he just didn't explain that to me. You have to get 100 points by Friday if you go to Friday if you're not one. You have to have an average from today until the 17th of 100 points a week, guys. If you get one point, that's eight points. So some of you in this room are already above 50. So we'll review it at the end of the period. Earn the points, let's go. 